Okay, what I'm gonna demo first is what I currently use for MIDI. Um, so this is a Yamaha CLP650, and I'm gonna detune it to 432 megahertz, 432 hertz for the look for A. And to do that, I press this, hold this down and press this 11 times. So now uh, it's a more natural sounding tone, okay? Now on the iPad, this little camera connection kit um, with a USB interface will actually work. I don't know on the newer iPads, but on this old iPad too it works. So it comes with a nice little protective cover. Now I'm going to plug it in over here. I got some Arduino stuff going on back there. I'll start another time. Oh, Twitter. Okay, <laughs> now I'm going to run my uh, MIDI trailer program. So MIDI Trail is a uh, amazing uh, piece of software written by a Japanese guy. Um, so I, um, I want to play around with that app a little bit. So I made my own version. ER is my name, Eric Rangel, so MIDI Trailer. Um, so the first thing I do is check my settings and um, make sure that it is pointing to the correct interface. So the USB Uno MIDI interface is checked on both of those. And you could do MIDI through and other stuff too, okay. So um, these are some different visualizations it gives you, but I'm just gonna go to it. So you could play MIDI files through it, and I'll uh, pick one in a minute. Okay, but uh, what I wanna do is get the output to go from the piano through to the piano and into a Microsoft Surface. So that's another uh, Uno MIDI interface. And here I have a Java program that I wrote. Let me bring it up under Java work. Okay, piano display app, um, uh, fixed radius. Yeah, so you could have, a, I, I like the variable radius. So that's where it is. Um, so that's the class file, and the job is in there. So I'm gonna to go to a DOS prompt, and cd slash cd java work, and uh, slash jr, and let's see, let's do a dir first. Uh, cd piano. I could make a batch file out of this. All right, uh, piano display app, okay. So uh, Java runtime. Uh, da, 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 da. You gotta type in capitals. Okay, so now I got a keyboard up there. And then if I maximize it, it's uh, mini, so I have to magnify, which is this uh, thing, the, the window key and the plus sign. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm getting old. I need a magnifier. Huh? All right. Plus, plus, and that should do it. Okay. Uh, I could get this little magnifying glass out of the way if you want, or minimize usually does that. All right, and hide your mouse. Okay, so um, I'm gonna play a song on here. Let's just pick a uh, girl with flaxen hair. And uh, is your piano roll view. So the reason you're seeing green and red is because, um, I'll tell you in a minute, it's just a beautiful song.
my pad has enough to drive MIDI. So I've experimented with various ways of visualizing MIDI. I'll show some in the future. But it all started on an Apple IIe once I got a MIDI interface for it. And I just did a homebrew MIDI system for myself and nobody else. But I want to make all my stuff freely available to everybody who wants it. Right? I have source code. I wish I could be at Kansas Fest, but I don't know how you people get all your equipment out there. And I'll show you later. My Apple IIe, fully loaded. Okay, so that's what you get with modern equipment that uh, does not uh, take up space, that is, uh, has a good enough uh, appeal to live upstairs. We'll have to go in the basement to see my man cave later.